Hello, all dinosaurs. I'm Dan, and right now we are at the level two Jurassic World Midlands. If you're new here, okay. So basically, this is our shelf where we place all our Jurassic World and Jurassic Park action figures, okay. And today we are about to film. Let us just go into the room. 138 different Cam Cretaceous dinosaurs. You know, carnivores from Safari, LTD, Collecte, Nanmu Studio, plenty of really cool stuff. I'm gonna show you guys my Imagine Next collection as well. So let's get right into it, okay? Okay, the very first figure that we will be unboxing, or rather, we have already unboxed, is actually this Dino Escape Mega Destroyer Stegosaurus. It looks beautiful. I really love this, and it comes with this harness right over here which you can just open up okay but first i wanted to show you guys you know it actually has two buttons you know one actually moves the tail actually to the left as you guys can see oops <laughs> oh yeah that is the whole point of it okay and the other button to another direction and this stegosaurus actually looks really really nice this color scheme is wonderful we will do a comparison with you know a few more stegosaurus later on okay so this is the first figure that we are taking a look at another one is actually this dino escape raw attack baryonyx limbo yes this is baryonyx limbo so finally we have got it okay it's time for us to open this up so let's just cut the strings loose so this is the first figure that we are actually unboxing together the tail is actually right over here as you guys can see so we need to rip it off i guess like this that's fine it's actually pretty nicely yeah i mean done so you don't really have to you know damage the box if you want to keep it so this is a box just in case you want to have a look at oh yes i think you guys will want me to scan or rather you will want to scan okay so i'm gonna zoom in so you can actually scan this mega destroyer um stegosaurus are you guys able to scan it? I'm not very sure. Okay, we will do a scan together later on, okay? So this is Baryonyx Limbo. And this is the tail of Baryonyx Limbo. So let's pop it right in. Let's see, how do we do it? Wow, this is a tough. It's not easy to pop it right in. Oh, there you go. So you have to use, you know, a certain amount of strength. So this raw attack is actually super cool. It comes with three different um, sounds. So this is, this is zero. This is the default. So number one. Okay, you can see the mouth actually opens up slightly, just really slightly. Okay, so let's see. Okay, and this is number two. And finally, number three so there are actually three different you know actions really cool so what do you guys think of this baryonyx limbo i think it looks super amazing so let's zoom in on the code for you guys to scan if possible i'm not too sure whether it's possible so you can actually pause the video and scan this in your jurassic world facts app okay you know to review facts about this you know dinosaur together we will scan this later on at the end of this video okay so this is baryonyx limbo raw attack baryonyx limbo another one that we have is actually this raw attack ceratosaurus we have actually unboxed this in our previous video so check this out guys it's pretty cool so similarly it has three different raws Yes, it's really, really awesome. The third one is basically the loudest and the longest roar with the mouth like, you know, open up at the widest range. Okay, so these two are the raw attack figures. I'm gonna place it right in front of the box. Next up, I think you guys also wanted me to show you this, the Mega Destroyer um, Kakarodontosaurus. So this is super awesome. Just check this out. Yeah, you can actually easily break off the harness. By pressing the button and this button right over here is actually very soft it's made of really soft rubber so it's really interesting so this is the first kakarodontosaurus that jurassic world or jurassic park has actually produced 
really nice. I love this a lot. Next up, not too sure that you guys have seen this, the Super Colossal Colonel Taurus that has actually been released very recently. You know, take a look at this gigantic Super Colonel Taurus. Super Colonel Taurus, I think let's call it, you know, it the Super Colonel Taurus for short. Super Colossal Colonel Taurus, so you can see it is really, really beautiful. It packs plenty of details for a huge dinosaur. You can move your tail. And what is nice about this is that you can actually rotate the neck, which you can't do with in um, the T-Rex and blue. So you can see you are able to move the jaw, um, the neck, the arms as well, the tiny little arms. And uh, of course, you guys should know that these tiny little arms are actually smaller than those of a T-Rex. So you can just imagine, you know, how tiny they are because the T-Rex already has, you know, really, really short arms. And of course, you can place minifigures into its mouth and just poop it right out from this little opening right here. So Kanotaurus, the meat-eating bull, we finally got, you know, this Super Kanotaurus. I want you guys to let me know which other Super Colossal dinosaurs should Mattel be, you know, creating. I'm, I'm actually in touch with the Mattel team, so we can definitely let them know our feedback and they can probably produce, you know, one that we suggested. Yeah, how about Giganotosaurus or maybe the Scorpius Rex. So if you guys have not seen this, this is the latest Scorpius Rex, okay? Um, this is a slash and battle Scorpius Rex. It's very, very awesome, okay? So there are two buttons. This is our first one with the slashing action. Okay, right over here. So just check this out. And the other one, it's the raw function. So it's really, really cool. And do you guys know that there is actually another version of the Scorpius Rex coming out? And it is actually in green color. Yes, it's really cool. I can't wait for that to actually arrive. All right, next up, another new figure that we have purchased just a few days ago. So if you guys have not seen the previous, you know, Conotaurus versus Indominus Rex versus Scorpius Rex video, do catch it, okay? So this is the mini chomping Conotaurus. So check this out. So when you press this button right here, the neck will actually extend. And I think there's another button on top of his head. So if you press this, the eyes will actually blink. So adorable. And let's do a comparison with the baby Indominus Rex right over here, okay? You can see the baby Indominus Rex looks equally adorable, but it doesn't mean the eyes doesn't move, okay? But it comes with this, some meat for the Indominus Rex to eat, you know, but the Conotaurus, you know, does not have, neither does Blue, okay? So let's grab hold of Baby Blue. So this is Baby Blue, so only the Indominus Rex has some meat to eat. I think these two little dinosaurs will be really jealous. Where are our meat? We want our meat! Yes, I think they will be saying that, okay? All right. Next up, not too sure whether you guys have seen the Ocean Protector. It's right over there. So I'm gonna show you guys, you know, later on. But first, we have one more new figure to actually unbox. And this is the Imagine Next Camp Cretaceous and Cutosaurus Bumpy. So I've just purchased this from Amazon. So it just arrived at my doorstep, you know, a few days back. So let's cut this open. You know, when, when you cut this, you have to be really careful not to cut yourself, okay? Have your parents to help you, and you do not want to cut the, 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 the dinosaur as well. Da, 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 I was like stammering. Yeah, remember, be really careful. Have your parents to help you, you know, when you're dealing with all these like, you know, box cutters and um, or, um, scissors. Take a look at my, my, my hand, so you can see there are a few cuts here and there because I was doing some unboxing. And um, I was really, really um, um, impatient and I uh, just cut it myself. So make sure that doesn't happen to you. So have your parents to help you. I mean, you have to ask your parents to be careful as well. 
you know, in case they're like me, they cut yourself, uh, cut themselves. Any one of you guys know what is the name of this character from Camp Cretaceous? Mm -hmm. He's like the best friend of um, Bumpy, and you know, and Bumpy is really loyal to him. Yes, his name is actually Ben. Yeah, and he was a really timid boy, you know, at the starting of the series, but he, he ended up be becoming a really brave and um, resourceful boy. Yes, let's move on into our collection. Not too sure whether you guys have seen this. This is the Amber Collection from um, Pteranodon. And they will, they will be releasing more Amber Collection dinosaurs. I can't wait for it. Cynoceratops, really beautiful. This is a Cam Cretaceous Soundstrike version as well. Oh, I haven't shown you guys Bumpy. Yes, I beg your pardon. So this is Bumpy from um, the Imagine Next. So it looks really adorable as you guys can see. The eyes are actually um, like transparent. Okay, you can move the legs. Um, the tail can't be moved. So really cool figure. Next up, let's do comparison. Okay, this is actually the very first Ceratosaurus, Rory Vore is no longer roaring because the batteries are actually out, so we have to replace it later on. And um, this is another Ceratosaurus from um, Camp Cretaceous, so you can see the sculpt is actually different. Okay, um, I'm gonna show you guys more Imagine Next Camp Cretaceous dinosaurs. We have one right over here. This is um, a Ceratosaurus. Okay, this is basically for us to do a comparison. So let's compare, you know, the two Stegosaurus together. Okay, this is the Dewar Attack Stegosaurus, and this is the Mega Destroyer. So you can see in terms of the size, they are exactly the same. Do you guys know why is the Stegosaurus, I mean, its name, why does it, why does it, um, no, why is it known as a roof lizard? Because all these plates were actually thought to be lying sideways on its body initially. Yeah, that was why. Okay, next up, we have Baryonyx right over here. This is actually the Baryonyx from Jurassic World. You know, from the lava, such place that you can see there like lava on top of his um, head, top of his head, um, head and body. And this is Baryonyx Limbo. Okay. I'm gonna show you guys more collection, more of my Camp Cretaceous Imagine Next collection. This is actually a Mosasaurus from the Camp Cretaceous series as well. So really nice. That is like chomping jaw action. And speaking of Mosasaurus, I think it's time for us to take a look at this Ocean Protector Mosasaurus. So why is it called the Ocean Protector? Cause, you know, part of this, you know, figure is actually made up of, um, recycled plastic and that's really really awesome okay you can see there's actually a little hole hole in my um figure right over here i'm not too sure what happened to it but you know it's fine but you can see this figure it's amazing it, you are able to move the tail i mean as compared to um the previous mosasaurus which you can't move it all right let's move on okay i'll be showing you guys some of the latest Schleck dinosaurs that we have actually purchased um, in recent weeks or, or months. This is actually a Cryolophosaurus, which is known as a cold crested lizard. It is a carnivorous dinosaur discovered in the Antarctica, which is why it's known as the cold crested lizard. All right, let's move on. And speaking of this little, you know, Zoom Riders, they are actually from Toy Monster. I've just spoken to Toy Monster last week and they will be sending us the entire set of um, their um, Camp Cretaceous eggs because they know that we have been missing out on like Brompy, Carnosaurus, Charlie and some other glow in the dark. So they, they will be sending us the entire set. And to let you guys know, they are actually producing a new mega surprise egg that contains plenty of um, Camp Cretaceous stuff inside. So I can't wait for them to send me one of those. All right, next, next up, we actually have a Chaos Effect um, dinosaur right here. I can't remember what this was actually made up of. So if you guys know, I think this is known as a, um, ter I, I don't know, Vel Velocitorix. I, I can't remember. So I needed the help of you guys. You know, tell me what 
hybrid is this? I think this is like part Pteranodon and part Velociraptor. So it could be known as a Velociraptorix or Archaeopteryx. Part v Velociraptor and part Archaeopteryx. Next up, I'm gonna show you guys Nanmu Studio Jurassic World inspired dinosaur figures. So check this out guys. This is actually a new, you know, Stegosaurus from Nanmu Studio. So it's based on um, the Stegosaurus from Jurassic Park and Jurassic World. It's really nice, I love it. I really love the Nanmu Studio figures. What about you guys? You guys prefer like Papo, Nanmu Studio or Reball? You know, drop me a comment down below and let me know which brand do you guys prefer and what other collection video you, sh you want me to make. Let me know down below. This is a Triceratops from um, Nanmu Studio. You can see it looks so beautiful. It looks exactly like the Triceratops in the Jurassic Park movies. So Triceratops is known as the three horned face. So most of you dino, dino nerds, dino fanatics will know this, you know, by heart. Next up, our most favorite dinosaur, or at least for me, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, the Tyrant Lizard King. Okay, this is a um, figure from PNSO. It's a beautiful figure. I love it so much. It looks so realistic. And this T-Rex right here, you know, he looks like, he or she looks like, you know, it's really well fed. You can see it's slightly, you know, bulky, slightly chubby, very well fed and um, very healthy T-Rex. All right, next, let's move on. This is actually an Ankylosaurus known as Bumpy. Okay, so we have plenty of Bumpy figures. Um, where is our previous image? Next one, let's do a comparison. Which one do you guys prefer? Both are equally adorable. I mean, okay. And Cutsaurus is known as the fused lizard because the bones are fused together to form a very, very strong armor. There are some new species inside this, you know, um, box. Okay, this is one of our latest additions from a Schleich known as a Caposuchus. As you guys can see, it looks like a crocodile. In fact, it is. It is a prehistoric crocodile, okay, Caprosuchus. So it definitely looks like an alligator, cause an alligator also walks like upright like this with the legs in here, like really long and slender. Yes, they look like, you know, modern day dinosaurs, to be really honest with you. Another one which is right over here. Oh yes, I wanted to show you guys, you know, this Indominus Rex. I think some of you may not have seen this. This is actually from um, Imagine Next, Imagine Next in Dominus Rex. I really love how they actually put in some blue um, splash of paint onto this figure to make it look more vibrant, so you can see. So once you move this tail, it'll just go into this rotating, you know, rampaging action. It looks so, so cool. This one right here is also extremely, extremely awesome. So it, this is actually from Imaginex as well. It has Ross, but the Ross sounds like the Ross from an um, Indominus Rex to me. So you can actually open this up. Um, it's supposed to like chase after a um, Owen figure. So there's some like, you know, sen sen sensor right over here. So once this Indoraptor move, you know, Owen will also move. So it's it's basically to simulate that the Indoraptor is chasing it. And speaking of Indoraptor, I'm not too sure whether you guys have seen this, a plush, you know, figure of uh, Indoraptor. I think for most of you, most of the, you know, dinosaurs who have been following, following me extremely closely, you know, you should have seen this before, you know. This is a plush figure with sounds. Awesome. All right, next up. I have plenty of Camp Cretaceous minifigures, so I'm gonna pour them right into this big box right over here. Okay, not too sure whether you guys have seen the entire set of this McDonald's Happy Meal, you know, figures. Okay, so this is Indominus Rex, this is blue. Oh yes, wanted to show you guys this again. I can't wait, I hope, I really hope that Mattel can actually come up with a huge prehistoric you know, marine reptiles line, that would be really nice. I mean, we only have Mosasaurus in that scale, in that big scale. So if they can do one for the Plesiosaurus, I think that would be really cool. Kanotaurus Toro right over here. I'm gonna put this aside. 
not too sure whether you guys have seen this. This is Mosasaurus from Takara Tomi, just plunging out from the water. Yeah. Okay, Styracosaurus right over here from Collecte. So I've actually placed my entire set of Collecte herbivores inside this box. So let's have a look. Okay, and we have also placed Safari LTD carnivores inside this box. So this is Spinosaurus. Looks really beautiful. I love it. Have you guys seen this? The latest Snap Squad attitudes. Yes, so this Snap Squad, they actually have expression. So this is a baby T-Rex, which looks so, 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 you know, afraid and so scared. Okay, looks so adorable. Another one right here, which is a Stegosaurus. This Stegosaurus looks like, you know, he is really, he or she is really sleepy, you know, with the eyes like half, half opened. Okay, all right. I wanted to ask you guys as well, which is your most favorite hybrid dinosaur at this point of time? Is it the Indoraptor? Is it the Scorpius Rex? Or is it the Indominus Rex? Let me know down below. Um, for me, I definitely love the Indominus Rex the most, but at this point of time, I'm really into Scorpius Rex and I hope that we can actually expand our Scorpio Rex um, collection together. Giganotosaurus is actually one of the new dinosaurs that will be coming out in the new movie Jurassic World Dominion. So I can't wait for the figures of a Giganotosaurus to come out really soon. I can't wait for it. I think, I think they will produce a super colossal Giganotosaurus really soon. Okay, what is this? Brontosaurus. Yes, this is actually a huge sauropod. And the Brontosaurus is actually known as the Thunder Lizard. Okay, this one right here, it's super cool. It has spikes as on um, protection, I guess. This is known as an Augustina. So I want you guys to find out what does the name mean for this sauropod and let me know down below, okay? All right, next up, Stegosaurus and um, Bumpy, okay, from McDonald's Happy Meals collection. This is Baryonyx Grim, South Stripe. And um, let's do a comparison with Limbo. So remember, this is the color of Limbo. So we have to remember this. You guys know I'm extremely bad with remembering the, the colors of Delta, Echo, Charlie. So the same may um, happen to me again. Um, this is not you know any of the four Baryonyx in um, Camp Cretaceous. So this was actually from the escape set, I, I, I think. I can't remember the exact name, okay? So right over here is a Brachiosaurus that we have purchased in um, recent um, months from Schleich. I really love the sauropods from Schleich and you can see the quality of this figure. It's amazing. You can see plenty of details on this figure. It's, it's beautiful. So Brachiosaurus is known as the arm lizard. I think you guys know why. I'm not going to repeat that. And this one right here is something you may not know. This is actually known as a Bajadosaurus, and it is actually known as a downhill lizard, pointing downwards, downhill lizard. Okay, so I actually just learned about this today. So I did some research on this sauropod. Okay, so yes, very cool. I think this was discovered in Argentina. And you can see the spikes over here are pointing downwards, which is why it is known as a downhill lizard. lizard. Okay, next up, this one, I may not know what does the name mean, so I need the help of you guys again. So this is actually known as a Paralotitan, which is a huge sauropod. And you can see on its body, there are like plenty of uh, bumps. And so ba basically these are like protective armor, you know, against the predators. Yep. That's right. And um, Conotaurus, we have another one right over here from Nambu Studio. And this is, of course, inspired by the Conotaurus in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Very slender legs, you can see. If you guys do not know, the Conotaurus is actually much smaller than a T Rex. But, you know, it is able to run up to uh, really fast speed because of its uh, slender build. So, this is Baryonyx which is also a figure which, which, which we have um, purchased from Schleich in um, recent weeks or months. I think recent months, not, it's not that recent. 
Okay, so another Imagine Next figure right over here, which is an Indoraptor. So it's really adorable. Too bad it doesn't have any sounds. And another sauropod, not too sure, by looking at this, I think this is known as a Rebachiosaurus. Let's have a look. Yes, that's right, Rebachiosaurus. So I don't have much information about this, you know, sauropod. So you guys can probably drop some facts in the comment section down below, okay? More Imagine Next figure, are you guys able to guess what dinosaur this is? This is actually an Allosaurus. A Nanmu Studio Jurassic World inspired um, figure, a hybrid. This is a, an um, Indoraptor, a white colored Indoraptor. This is actually known as the Apostor Nightmare. They actually gave, you know, give this figure a nickname. It's a really cool name, a pretty scary name to be really honest. Another Carnotaurus, another meat-eating bull, so you can see the two horns. You know, they look so, so cool, those two horns. All right. It definitely reminds me of a, you know, bull, like a cow, like a um, goat as well, because of the two horns. So recently, I've actually went to the zoo and uh, I was able to see lots of um, animals. Yes. And what is your most favorite animal? For me, my most favorite animal is actually the rhinoceros. It reminds me of a Cyracosaurus. I also like hippopotamus, they look so adorable, but they're actually pretty aggressive. Okay, what is this? This is actually a um, Lufungosaurus, which was a sauropod, which is a sauropod discovered in China. Okay, next up, another T-Rex figure. So you guys may not know that a T-Rex actually had some feathers because the paleontologists were actually able to find quill knobs. Quill knobs are actually little holes in the bones of the dinosaur. So yeah, those are actually little holes where you know, the feathers came out from. So, so this is a, um, just an illustration of probably how a um, feathered T-Rex could look like. Of course, it is not 100% accurate, but this is definitely something that it may look like. More sauropods, I mean not sauropods, more herbivores, and if you ask me, just by looking at this, I am not able to tell you what species this is, because there are so many figures that we have. So let's do a check on this. So this is actually known as a mercurial ceratops, mercury ceratops, okay? Which is a ceratopsian. Ceratopsians include like Triceratops, you know, um, Protoceratops, Tyrannosaurus, now Pseudoceratops. All these are known as Ceratopsians. This is also one of them, okay? Sinoceratops is also a Ceratopsian. And this figure is from Nanmu Studio. And of course, it is also inspired by um, the Jurassic World Sinoceratops. And it looks amazing. It looks beautiful. There are two colors. One is a brown one and one is a green one. I love both of them. Um, another Snap Squad attitude right over here, which is a um, Velociraptor. We have some little figures right over here in Dominus Rex. So I want you guys to let me know what, which is your most favorite hybrid. For me, it it is still the, the Indominus Rex. Okay, this is from Toy Monster, a Zoom Rider of a Triceratops. We have a small little blue figure, a small little T-Rex figure right here, and. This, it's a Dilophosaurus. This is not from Imagine Next, okay? It's still able to roar. It's pretty cool. Let's move on. All right, what is this? Um, I can't remember. Probably a Diplodocus, maybe? It's a Daxia Titan, which is a huge sauropod discover in Daxia, I think, in China. So I'm not too sure what does the name mean. It could probably mean like the Dexia lizard. This is Anzu, which is a, um, it reminds me of a modern day ostrich or emu every time I see it. Okay, this one right here is actually a um, polar cantus. Okay, looks really, really interesting. It looks like an ankylosaurus with like, you know, more pointed spikes. Okay, this dinosaur right here, it's probably, I'm not too sure, it's probably an omnivore. This is a Dinochirus, so I'm not too sure. It's probably 
It probably fed on insects, little, you know, little dinosaurs and maybe fruits as well. So I'm not too sure. So you guys, if you know and if you know that I um I got this information wrong, can actually comment down below. Okay, this figure was actually purchased very, very recently. This is actually a Mosasaurus from Schleich. Okay, cool. Triceratops from McDonald's Happy Mew. And this is actually a um, Shunosaurus, which is known as a Shu Lizard, which was discovered in China as well. A McDonald's Happy Mew figure, Carnotaurus Toro, you can see that little scar, the, some scars on the right side of the snout. This is actually known as a Sing Tao Saurus, so let me show you guys. Okay, it actually looks like a um, Parasaurolophus. Okay, another Ceratopsian, which is a um, I'm not too sure. Let's see what is the name of this. Let's see, Xenoceratops. Okay, cool, Xenoceratops. Next up, another Ceratopsian. This should be should be a Diablo Ceratops. Let us have a look. Right over here, Diablo Ceratops, which is another Ceratopsian. Looks really beautiful. Look at the spikes, they're really curved and long, so they can definitely be really useful defensive weapon. Um, we have a Dimetrodon right here, which is not exactly a dinosaur. A Spinosaurus, which was purchased very recently. This is actually from the Camp Cretaceous series. This is a Microraptor. Okay. Yep, Microraptor. It, it definitely looks like, you know, modern day um, birds like eagles and stuff. With a basic figure of blue, with a T-Rex. We have a Velociraptor, which is feathered, okay? It has feathers. And check this out, guys. This is actually an armored Tyrannosaurus Rex. Nice. Another Ceratopsian right over here. Really cool one. I'm not too sure what, you know, this is. So let's have a look. This is actually known as a Medusa Ceratops. I think it's partly because of the, the curved horns that looks like the snakes on a Medusa head. Okay, Sticky Moloch. Brachiosaurus, my most favorite one from the McDonald's set. Looks so adorable. Quetzalcoatlus is actually a really huge prehistoric flying reptile. It is as big as an airplane that we are sitting in today. Yeah. Sticky Moloch. T-Rex, Pteranodon, okay, which is known as its toothless wing. Okay, that's, that's the name, that's the meaning of its name. So let's flip the box over, okay. We have still plenty of um dinosaurs to go. Another Carnotaurus, this is not Carnotaurus Toro, it doesn't have the scar on the right side of the snout. And um, this, it looks like a Diplodocus, so let's see. Yes, that's right. It is a Diplodocus. What does the name mean for a Diplodocus? I think it's known as Double Beam, if I remember correctly, or am I wrong? I can't remember. I need the help of you guys. This one right here, I can't remember what this is, so we have to take a look at the name together. Oh, it's Argentinosaurus. Argentinosaurus is actually one of the largest um, sauropods that you can find out there, okay? Um, another one, this is um, Cetiosaurus, that's right, another sauropod, you can see, you know, it walks with its neck, you know, pointing in a straight line rather than upwards. We have a baby T-Rex right over here, Ceratosaurus, known as the horned lizard. Yeah, I think we have actually unboxed the Ceratosaurus right over here, okay, which is this one. Did I say did I say this as a Carnotaurus? Not too sure. So a um, herbivore from Collectia. Let's see what is the name of this figure. Mantelosaurus, that's right. And this looks like a Cantosaurus, but I think this is a Lexovisaurus. Okay, just gonna show you guys the name written right below. You guys able to see it? Lexobisaurus, that's right. 
And now the Dino Kyris, remember I've actually shown you a huge one just now, so this is a smaller version. And not a really cool dinosaur, which I have no idea what it is. Kamosaurus, yes, this was actually discovered in um, Japan, this dinosaur. This is a Rampharynchus, which is a prehistoric flying reptile. This is a Charyptosaurus, alright? Which is known as the Helmet Lizard because of that crest on top of his head. And this is a Baryonyx, which is known as a Heavy Claw because of the first claw, which is bigger than the rest. It's heavier. And this is Spinosaurus, needs no introduction. The Spine Lizard, one of my most favorite carnivores as well. Silophysis, which you can find in um, Jurassic Park movies. This is an Apatosaurus. What is the name? What does the name mean for an Apatosaurus? I always get them mixed up with um, um, Diplodocus. Triceratops right over here. Ineosaurus, which is another Ceratopsian. This one right here is actually a. Uh, oh my goodness, what is this? It's so small. Camptosaurus, yes, it's actually a very, very unknown um, figure. I'm gonna tilt the box over like this so that we can reach all of them. And not a really cool sauropod. So I'll be doing maybe like a sauropod collection really soon. Ampelosaurus, okay, with like spikes on top of his body and like bombs. So basically, these are like armor to protect itself against like, you know, predators like, you know, T Rex and stuff like that. This it's a um, Gigan Gigan Spinus, um, Gigan Spinosaurus. Yes, it has nothing to do with a Spinosaurus, but a name. You know, it's very similar. This is a Wuhanosaurus, which is a um, Stegosaurid. You know, discovered in um, China. This should be a Utyrannus, which is a um, yeah. This is a Utyrannus. It's not related to a T Rex, but somehow it looks like a T Rex to me. This one right here, I have no idea what it is. Platyosaurus, yes, that's right, Platyosaurus. You know, you can see it is like standing on its hind leg, probably like feeding on like um, leaves from a tree. This is a Velociraptor, which is known as a Swift Caesar, because they're small and they're really fast. This is an Oloro Titan, okay? Which, which looks very similar to a Parasaurolophus. I think they're from the same family. We have blue right over here. We have a baby Parasaurolophus as well. We have this from Toy Monster, which is a T-Rex. This Mosasaurus is beautiful. I love this. This one is even better. This is actually from Takara Tomi. A Snap Squad Attitude, which is a Dimorphodon. You know, this... It's really adorable, you know, he seems to be really, really, really angry with some issue. So you, know, you can see the eyes are like, <laughs> really, really angry eyes. T-Rex, a green T-Rex. Baryonyx, the heavy claw, which is um, a carnivore. So you can see plenty of them in Camp Cretaceous. T-Rex again, another T-Rex. Yet another T-Rex And not a T-Rex Not a T-Rex <laughs> This is a Velociraptor Okay Parasaurolophus from McDonald's Looks so 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 adorable Parasaurolophus is known as the Near Crested Lizard And right over here we have Oh my goodness Probably one of the cutest and most adorable figures You can see the Three horns of this baby triceratops are barely seen. It's so small. It's so small, just check, check the horns, horns out. So it's basically like a little baby. So cute. This is a Regali ceratops. It has a beautiful crown, beautiful crest. And we are left with three figures. We have a bumpy right over here. This Bumpy looks like the other Bumpy, okay? This Bumpy, but the colors are actually different. This is actually from Jurassic World, and this is actually from Camp Cretaceous. 
this looks like a mini Kentrosaurus. I'm not too sure. Let's see. The words are really, really small. Yes, it's a mini Kentrosaurus. And um, that's all. I'm going to show you guys my most favorite figure. I am going with the Super Carnotaurus. The Super Colossus Carnotaurus as my most favorite. Second one, I am going to choose Scorpius Rex. And the third one, probably the Kakaro Dontosaurus, cause it's so amazing. What about you guys? Let me know down in the comment section below. And um, thanks for watching this long video. If you managed to stay to the end of the video, just comment down below. I am a true blue dinosaur. And I will definitely give your comments a heart. And I'll pin it, okay? So I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.